Have you ever wondered how a blind or visually impaired person uses Instagram? Well, uh, Instagram just made it a whole lot easier to explain. Dot verified account at Instagram. Follow, follow at Instagram. More. We're proud to improve Instagram for people with visual impairments. Starting today, we are automatically adding alternative text to photos on feed. Explore and profile so people who use screen readers can hear what's in the photo. Producer, legally blind. Filmmaker. Hashtag accessibility. YouTube.com slash change rap. Link. Image may contain one person. Phone. Hat and outdoor. Image. Ooh, it's not a phone, it's a Nintendo Switch, but... So blind visually impaired people oftentimes use a thing called a screen reader, Angeles, which California. lets us navigate our phones and, and have audio descriptions of what we are doing, what we're touching, what we're interacting with, or what we're about to press. Change that. More options. Button. So I'm gonna find another photo here, right? Andrea Lass, I'll you a new post. Right, so here's my friend Andrea. Andrea, back button. Photo by Andrea Lazell. Two people sitting in a giant teacup. Andrea is on the left wearing a white sweater in black tights and rose gold Mickey Mouse ears on her head, smiling at the camera. Hannah is on the right in all black and wearing black and red Mickey Mouse ears. She is also smiling at the camera. Image. Disneyland. So by knowing the location, it makes context to why they're wearing Mickey Mouse ears. Photo, comment, right. text field. So I'm going to leave text a comment. Is editing. Hey, exclamation mark. Thanks for trying out the new image description feature, exclamation mark. It works awesomely period is editing hey thanks for trying out the new image description future it works awesomely character mode. future <laughs> it ended up putting future and not feature but you know what that's the where we are currently with dictation it's not perfect if you ever get a uh, weird typos from blind people probably wasn't us it was dictation How exactly do you get your photos to be accessible for the blind and visually impaired on Instagram? Well, luckily Instagram does some of the work for you. Image may contain one person, phone, hat and outdoor, image. Ooh, it's not a phone, it's a Nintendo Switch. Switch space, but button. however, for the best and most accurate results, you can put in a little effort. So prior, uh, Instagram really had no support for accessibility when it came to the blind and visually impaired. However, their parent company, Facebook, did and Facebook would offer alt text but like automatic alt text and alt text is just another more codey nerdy word for image descriptions but it would automatically try to figure out who's tagged in the photo who how many people are in the photo if they're smiling one person smiling if, if it's outdoors if you know if there's a pet involved eight people outdoor water nature so Facebook did that and now they brought over that technology that's gotten better over the last couple of years. I covered it in a previous video, but it's it's been a few years and I think it's better now, hopefully. <laughs> so, But yes, you can still put in a bit of effort to make sure the image descriptions are uh, good, are more accurate and that blind and visually impaired people who follow you on Instagram or should follow you on Instagram because we all want followers, right? I, I, I think so, maybe you don't need them. If you're trying to grow your brand though with Instagram, this is a great way to do so. I think there's about 325 million blind people in the world and that's a fairly large audience that you could potentially be reaching. All you gotta do is write out what you want people to see in your image. What is this about? What is the content you are trying to get across? Open camera, button, photo. Photo taken on November 27th, 2018 at 625, 26. Toggle aspect ratio, toggle aspect. Next, button. So here's how to make your photos accessible to the blind and visually impaired. 75%, 80%, 70%, 60, 60, 55%, 50%, 55%, 60%. Done, selected, apply filter, kingdom. Hopefully that looks good. I wouldn't know. When you upload a photo to Instagram, be sure to hit advanced options after you've written your caption and all your other sharing settings. Advanced settings, advanced settings. Okay. It's, 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 it's advanced settings. Once you've hit advanced settings, be sure to hit write all text. All text, again, is the same thing as image descriptions, just a little bit more of a fancy or nerdy word for it. Write all text, dictate, button. James stands with his cane outside of... If you don't see this option yet, Instagram may still be rolling it out. It's brand new, it just came out today as of recording this. Back, to any share, button. And then from there, you can just simply describe what the image is that you are trying to convey. What do you want your viewer to see? If your viewer had no sight, how would you describe this? It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be incredibly detailed unless that's part of the narrative of your image. Think of your image as a story. How do you tell a good story? It could be a sentence. It could be two, three. Maybe it does need a paragraph, but if that's gonna get the context across, 
do it. Also, just a, a quick tip, if you have text in your photo, like actual written text, whether it's a sign or anything, write that out. Photo by James Rath. Nighttime, James stands with his cane outside of a bookstore called The Last Bookstore in downtown Los Angeles. A red neon light displays the store name, image. Page 202, James Rath, anyone know where I can find The Last Braille Store? Man with medium light skin tone shrugging. Let me know, are you gonna make an effort to make image descriptions available on your photos? Cause I'd love to check them out. I'm sure 325 million other people would like to have access to your photography, to your Instagram. So be sure to get on that. Whether you're sighted, blind, whatever, I hope that you could see things differently today. I will hear you next time. Bye.